let's go and look at number one here. Uh, this is a lot like the one you did last week on Friday. And what we're going to do first, the, the, the best way to kind of get started on this would be to go ahead and draw this middle piece. Something like that. Can you see that part in there? We're going to draw that. And then we're going to add the front to it. Then we're going to add the, the back to it. Now we're just going to draw that shape for that middle part of the part. Goes back like this and that. The overall length of that thing, if you count all the squares, it's not easy to do, is actually nine squares. And the top is 1.75. The height is 1.25. I think that's fully uh, constrained, isn't it? Right click, done, right click, finish sketch, and we're going to extrude this just a half inch. Okay, now we're going to make a new sketch. This time, uh, let's put it on the back side so you know how to revolve this thing around to get to the back. We're going to put the new sketch there. Okay, just make a diagonal line, whoops, diagonal line, from here to here, about. Dimension from point to point, and that is, and that one is one inch from the front, from here to here is four squares, or an inch. Done. Finish sketch. And I'm um, going to extrude this. Make sure it's right. Yep. Half an inch. Okay. New sketch on the front. Do the same thing. All right. Um, let's look at number two real quick. So one way to do it would be to just to make this great big rectangle here and extrude it down one inch and then cut this slot through here a half inch deep. So let's go ahead and do that method first and see what that looks like. I'm just going to speed this drawing up a little bit and use the rectangle tool, which may, many of you may have found already. And the dimension for that is, uh, anybody want to help me count here? 1.5. How long is it? 8. Okay. So here's what I want to show you. When we extrude this 1 inch, this thing's going to be on its side, isn't it? Make our new sketch here, which is kind of like the top of it, but it's on its side. And then we'll go ahead and draw those diagonal lines. Uh, one goes from here to here, one goes from here to here, something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Was that half inch there? And then from here, here. Okay. So we just cut our slot. Boom. Half inch. And cut that way. Okay, so that's right, but the only issue with this is it's always going to sit sideways like that. There is a way to fix this later on when we put this into a drawing. You know, eventually we're going to put these into um, working drawings, three view with the isometric, and it's, it's always going to be kind of turned goofy like this. 
So there's a couple ways we can fix this. One is when we first started, we could have drawn the front view first. So the rectangle would be long and narrow because it'd be the front of the object. You with me? Yes. And then we would extrude it back, you know, an inch and a half or whatever it is. Then we draw that diagonal line, the diagonal line, and then, then we add things that go up. Now it's going to be sitting the right way. So think in terms of that. Someday you're going to come across something that you have to draw the top view first because it's just complicated or just make it way easier. And for those advanced minds, I'm going to show you something here in Inventor that will kind of make a little bit of sense to you. If I wanted to draw the top view first, here's the number one way of doing it here. So this is the X, Y axis, right? X is width, Y is height, agreed? Z goes, we can't really see because it's going away from us and towards us. Z is kind of invisible to this view right here. So um, if we draw something right here, it's going to be the front view. Even if it's supposed to be the top, if we, if we draw it right here, it's going to, it's going to turn to be the, the front. So we need to change the axis. And the way you do that is just, before you draw anything, just say uh, finish sketch. Now I'm going to right click and say new sketch, because now I'm going to put a sketch in a new plane. And the way I do that is by opening up the origin. And there's my good old XY plane. That's what we've been in. We want to do this in the <clears throat> XZ plane. That would be the top. X is width, and then Z is depth. So if we just swung over, it would be XZ. That'd be the top view. Agreed? So there's our X, Y, there's our X, Z. So I just clicked on that with my new sketch icon. And now we just click on the top. And now we've got a sketch plane in the X, Z plane. So this will now be my top view. Beautiful, huh? Want me to run through how I did that again real quick? Because I was talking so much. So I just went new, of course. And then as soon as I get there, I say finish sketch. Then I say new sketch. And then th that little piece of paper is looking for something. Where can I put the new sketch? Well, we're going to put it over here on X, Z. Have fun.